Okay, drawing number three. Ready to go. Um, thinking I'm not going to use any markers, so I'm gonna put them away. I am going to use paint. These guys, um, I got them down at the record shop on Hastings, which is kind of actually cool. Um, nice Nothings uh, uses them. This is called the Squilt Soul Tip, sorry, squeeze marker. So it's not really paint, it's a marker, but there's paint in there. And this guy has a ball bearing in there. He's called Art Primo. He's from artprimo.com. Uh, this one faded quite a bit. So this one did not, the soul tip. And this is black, it's OTR001, if you guys are um, wondering. They are um, expensive. This was 16 bucks, so it's worth it. Um, the, what I liked about it on this one, I went back and I tried it, is you can squeeze and it disperses. It has a really thick tip, which I don't really like because I like fine point. Um, but I tried it on the camera yesterday and I think it's gonna look really cool on this one. I wanted to leave this one to last because I wanted to sort of suss out everything that I wanted to use. I still have more paper and a couple more drawings that I'm gonna do, um, but now I know most definitely I'm probably gonna use this. The big Sharpie, I used that on the car and it was way too, um, wasn't consistent enough of a line. Here we use three different things. I used the marker from Miniso, um, which is this guy. I don't, it's called Show Me, Show Me Marker. Um, it's alcohol-based ink was not consistent enough um and then the art primo not really consistent enough i did see a bootleg video of one of these um on youtube where you could get a, a deodorant a roll-on deodorant container pop out the roll-on empty all the deodorant rinse it out buy some ink um whatever kind of ink you want i think india ink is pretty cheap um, fill it with ink and then just put a sponge, like fold a sponge inside or get a piece of felt, put it around the sponge, fold it up and put it inside, um, sort of a bootleg way. And that's how a lot of the guys um, tag. Anyway, here we go. So I've shaken this quite a bit. I'm not gonna start in the middle. I'm gonna start on these more singular lines. And he's wearing a little tiny um, necklace in the, this one, so I'm not really sure how that's gonna go. Here we go. Actually, I might start here, like this fine point, just so it's closest to me. I'm gonna see how this goes. It's really, really nice. Look at how nice that is. The only thing is not so good for fine point, but we'll see how this goes. Maybe we can go like that. Just give him a, one less bead for his necklace. There, awesome. Okay, so let's go up and uh, let's do his hair. This is very cool. I really like this. It feels really good too. I don't know if that's part of drawing for you guys. If you guys draw the feeling of whatever you're using, your instrument on the paper, I love using a fine point on paper because I really like how that feels. I'm just stopping so I can move my hands, so I can squeeze a little bit better. I hope my wall is not marked behind this. <laughs> uh, the sun is out today. I can't wait to go for my walk. I'm still around the apartment in my position. I'm gonna do his glass frame. This looks really cool. A little notch on the end there. I tried to join up all of the lines. His chin, his nose, maybe we can go on the edge a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Edge. Yeah, that's good. Okay, we'll go back up into his hair. A few more lines left. This is really cool. I really like this, okay. Let's see another line I didn't get. I'm gonna make my own right here, just so 
go ahead and join in here. There. Awesome. Sweet. That looks really cool. What do you guys think? It's part of my camera collection holding this paper up here. I'm really happy with that. That looks really good. So I'm going to generate one more drawing. I'll rule that I've, I'm, I'm, I'm using the wall. Um, I guess maybe a little bit like an easel. I'm going to roll the paper over once this dries and um, I'm going to create another drawing. I'm going to do the next one I'm going to do is that one. People really like this one. I already have my pencil ready. It's just a regular HB pencil. That's all. I know I'm holding this upside down. There we go. So yeah, I'm going to get outside and get into the sun. It's Friday. I hope you guys have a good weekend. If you're in BC, that $1,000 BC workers uh, funding is available now. And I also, a friend of mine sent me the link to apply for the rental subsidy. And that's a really easy online application. If you guys want to know about either one of these, if you have questions, let me know. Take care of yourselves.